Back now at 820 and this morning on day two of our series, setting the stage, preparing your home for resale. On Tuesday, today, real estate contributor Barbara Corcoran spent only $100 to stage a home and it's already under contract. Today, with a budget of $500, we're sprucing up an apartment here in New York City where location is everything and space is definitely at a premium. The problem with big cities like New York is space is always an issue. In this building, we're going to try to turn a little space to look like a much bigger space. So come on inside and have a look. You must be jurists. We've lived here almost for three years now, and it's been on the market for about two months. We're in no rush to sell it. What we're really going to do is try to get the most money we can for it. And I suppose this is your dining area? Yeah, that's what we use. The most important thing about this space is it's a nice proportion room, but it's all one room. We're going to take your bed and turn on Angle and actually have it come off the corner. Angle's going to suggest that the room's larger. It's a trick of the mind. This is going to become your main function of your living space. We need a real dining area here. All right, let's do it. Staging in this apartment is more important than even in a large house because you're so tight on what you have to work with, and so every little inch counts. We have only $500 in two short days to stage a studio apartment. So what better place to do it than Bed Bath & Beyond? We're going shopping. Because this studio only has one space, we have to divide the dining area from the rest of the room. So we need a good table and chairs. This is lovely. This one I even like better. It's a cleaner line, and it's almost half the price. Perfect. And no buyer wants a dark apartment, so we have to cheat our way to sunshine because this doesn't have any sunshine. This one looks good. This one is only $20. I'm gonna get two of these. These sheer curtains for the windows will even make an alleyway look bright. Wait till you see. Half of this whole apartment is a bed. So we have to take that bed and make it look luxurious like you can't wait to jump into it. And I love this. It feels expensive and it's not. This adds warmth. Buyers love warmth. And here she is. <laughs> Fake satin. Buyers are going to see this bed, want to jump into it and say, I'm home. Your total is $486.01. Bingo. Let's go to the apartment. I'm here. First, we're going to move around this bed. You have to make that bedroom area feel like it's a little separate and the living area is separate still. And how do you do that in one space? You do it with the clever use of arranging the furniture and putting up some suggestions of partitions without closing in the space. We're going to make your bed luxurious. We're going to put light curtains on the windows because this is a dark apartment. It's the worst negative and you want to do everything you possibly can to make it light. Whoa! <laughs> but what do you think about these rather foofy curtains, kind of girlish, a very foofy bed, kind of fancy? Well, you know, I'm open to changes and let's see how it goes. You know what, the only important thing is what the reaction of that buyer is when they walk through the door. And the first thought they ought to have is, oh, what a pleasant, sunny apartment. So good luck on that open house. Thank you. My pleasure. Let's get out of here. We had two people show up to the open house. It seems our staging work. There's already an offer on the table for the apartment. Barbara, welcome back. Another job well done. Thank you. A lot of work. So $500, you're confident they'll get that money back in terms of sale price. If you spend money wisely, you should get $2 back for every dollar you spend. And in this apartment, I'm assured they're going to get $10 for every dollar we spend. Well, you really make a point of light. I mean, you think light is one of the keys to selling an apartment. Even though that was a fairly dark apartment to start, you kind of brightened it up a lot. Kind of brightened it up. We broke our buns. What? We broke our back <laughs> brightening this up. We put up lights in the corners to push out the ceilings up and the walls out. We put bright colors on the floor. We did everything to pretend that this was a sunny apartment. What, what if the homeowner has a dog or a cat? Um, well, how do you deal with that in terms of the people who come to look at an apartment who may not be pet lovers? Well, this was a sweetheart of a dog, but he constantly got underfoot, so people don't want to see animals in apartments. People also buy with their nose, not just with their eyes, and people can really pick up an animal in a, in a so space. So if you have a cat, get the litter box out of there Send at least the while... Send the cat to grandma's house immediately. Get no the 
that wants to buy a house with a cabinet. Get the smell away. And by the way, tomorrow you're going to see what you can do with a budget of $5,000 and how you can do a little staging of, of a different kind of it's home and get great results. It's a lot more fun to results. spend a lot of money. I'm yeah. sure it is, Barbara. Thanks very much.